about to hear this. You're about to hear this. You are now this. Elder Rakesa sent me sent sent me something to post up on my timeline that I thought was very appropriate. It's something that we really need to look at, um, especially when we're talking about uh, doing some real building. So we want to send a round of applause out to Elder Rakesa. Elder Rakesa. I want to send a round of Apologize to those that's listening in on Spreaker. I just now turned the mic back on, so you know. Um, I'm looking for the post that I was tagged in that I want to do. Here we go, right here. We're gonna read this post, but first I want us to look at some of the stuff that's going on in the news, family. Um, <laughs> before you even jump off into that, right? Of course they attacked the apple cider vinegar. Of course, uh, y'all know kombucha is gonna be next. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole piece is, you know, you can't challenge the medical industry. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You can't have nothing that that that's outside of a scientific proof. I, I can kind of dig it, right? Make sure you get in your water. But there's another one on here I want to do. Now, I haven't seen uh, Korea in the news. I think it's South Korea or is it North Korea? One of them. Um, but cryptocurrency is dropping and i'm wondering is that because there's a possibility that some real shit is going to pop up cryptocurrency will work as long as computers are working so that means that if a motherfucker let off some type of thermonuclear bomb there's a possibility that cryptocurrency is not going to get your ass what you need so right now we will see a down i predict i believe that we will see a downturn in cryptocurrency and an upturn in people buying gold and silver. All right. Oh, he said Kombucha got some uh, play on Jeopardy yesterday. Whoa. Okay. Um, uh, gut bacteria found to trigger genes that protect against type one diabetes. Hmm. Um, Elon Musk predicts World War Three. But you know, a lot of those individuals that's involved in that world, as far as the uh, computers and stuff. They already know it's coming, regardless of whether it was going to come through the Korea or whatever. They, that's why they already got their bunkers and stuff prepared, fam. And the question that we have to have to ask is, are we prepared, right? So go on, drink your water. Let's drink the water. Today is Coogee Chagalia. For those that know, you already know that this is a day of self-determination. One of the most powerful, well, all the principles are powerful, but Kuja Chakali is one of the most popular ones, right? Self-determination, defining yourself for yourself, very powerful concept, right? Which kind of fits right in with the message that Brother Wakesa um, sent out yesterday. I'm going to read that. Um, the modern principle for the day is justice. Um, the hermetic law is correspondence. But today is my day. The day thing what is what is it oh oh okay i gotta need a new calendar because we are in september right we need a new calendar right, but anyway um i'll be sending that out to everybody that's been on the new cyber challenge before i sent out the new calendar uh um male name for the day is quabana female name is quabana. this is me and gina's day right speaking of that my girl got the hair done um I was able to wake up and it was storming outside. There's nothing like sleeping when it's raining. You know, it's kind of real soothing, right? So let's look at um, the seven EEC principles. And I, I couldn't make the training this weekend because it was just me and my girls in Cleve. And I couldn't let unleash them on, on that public library like that. I I, I just I just wouldn't have felt right unleashing them. Let me see if I 
I could increase the light just a little bit. I'm getting a little bit more equipment and uh, I'm trying to experiment with stuff, so I don't want to. I think that'll help. Nah, that didn't help at all. Let's see if I put it right here, will that help? Mm, just a little bit, just a little bit. You know, you got to figure out different ways to, to get the light to help, right? All right, let's try that right there. All right, cool. Well, they ain't really doing that. All right, right here. Nope, I want to just sit it out like that. All right, um, so... Um, today, uh, for the emotional emancipation circles, I want to able to make it, uh, but I'm gonna try to do the whole, the whole piece. Make sure you drink your water, fam. Today will be cursor in well off self respect and respect for others. Okay, um, the con ethics will be generosity and beneficence. Um. Traditional Yoruba attributes of good character will be ifarably, ifarbale, ifarbale, I don't know, calmness. All right. Those on the radio. Those on the podcast, I'm drinking my water. You know, if you're going to join me, you got to drink your water. Of course, we're drinking our water from a glass. And then, now, let's take it to the next level for those of you. You need to have a special glass. Start getting your special glass for the toast, right? You know, because we got to go. We got to go and learn how to start making stuff sacred. We got to go and you know, start learning the, the power of a uh, systematic process. And, you know, when you start doing stuff systematically, you start seeing what happens. That was 24, this is 32. I got my, at least my morning aspect, my morning part of water. Mm. <sighs> Let me put it in between y'all so y'all can hear it. Ooh. Made the whole table shake, y'all. You know? All right, so this is this is the Death Eater. I let this one mature, and of course, those that's been been listening in, y'all know that the Death Eater, unlike the other Ambrosias, Death Eater does not use green tea. Death Eater uses dandelion root and burdock root tea. And we have developed a scoby that's able to do that. As a matter of fact, I got a special scoby that's going to be coming out real soon. A homemade scoby that uh, I'm going to be able to do some personal experiments with. Uh, that's going to be a special family brew. You know what I'm saying? Because that scoby came from our experience here. All right. So now, let's get to the toast real quick so we can uh, discuss what, what our elders said, because I know some people just tune in for the toast. We lift up our glass to creator by whatever name you choose to call it, creator, right? We send out um, praises and, and, and we send out um, our, our thoughts and, and, and we ask blessings from that creator to, to flow upon us, right? To lift us up and to help us move forward. And with that, we say ashe. And then we move to our personal ancestors. We salute those personal ancestors. We call on our mothers and our fathers. We call on our brothers and our sisters. We call on our, our friends and our cousins. We call on our nieces and nephews. We call on our aunts and our uncles. We call on um, um, those children, right? Those children that's yet to be. We, we call on, well, my father, those children that may have passed on. So we call those ancestors. We want to remember them. We want to lift them up. So we lift up our glass to them and we salute them. 
I'm going to say my personal family line. I pray that you start saying your family line when we're doing this because it's a daily journey. Some days it's early. Some days it's well, my fault. Umoja through Kuji Chagali, on most cases, is going to be at 415. All right. Um, on the weekends, which is uh, Kaumba and Imani, more than likely you want to catch me when you catch me. So we lift up our glass. I'm going to say mine. My Brown is Aaron Robert and Texan Davis. I'm Brown Senior Rosalie Tilly, George Lee, Walter Chris, and the guys that I mean, I'm Uncle Chris. I'm Fiend. Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown. Marsh Ellis. Margaret Ellis. Cecil Ellis. Abara Brown. Gina Gang. Ellis Jr., uh, my cousin, Nikki Ellis. My Aunt Barbara Twiggs. Uh, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tapper. Jamon. John Fillard. Montague Pittman M. Tony Clark, Mama Malika, Ann Williams, Tony Clark, Elder Hairston, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, Elder Millie Dixon, Kojo Brown. Lift up our glass to those. Those that gave their mouth and the ones that rest in my heart, we lift up a glass and we say, I say, from here we toast this present moment. And we already kind of spoke about this moment. We're going to have a real good conversation about this moment real quick because I want to, I definitely got to share what the elders shared this morning because it's a powerful piece, especially when we start talking about self governance, right? So, and we talk about the day, Kuja Chagli, self determination, right? We toast this moment, powerful moment. In this moment, we will be able to build pyramids, right? You can't build them tomorrow. We can't, can't build them yesterday. I mean, even though we didn't have built them yesterday, our power is here. Our power is now. So the camera is kind of far back. And I think that might be what's messing with the rate for a second. Let's scoot in just a little bit. Last but not least, family. Last but not least. Who does say last? We toast our children. Our children's children went to affinity. We ask them remember us in advance we toast them in advance right if you listen you hear the, um, the crickets outside you hear the thunder and the lightning it's a beautiful morning family i salute you right we salute our children our children's children because as we build together right we leave a legacy for our children we leave a legacy for our children and that's our responsibility family you know what i'm saying that's real nation building you know what i'm saying a lot of, a lot of us make Get confused and think that nation building is about, um, about as as, as easy. Building on the board now, family is about leaving legacy, right? Legacy go a little bit deeper than money because you can leave a child money and the child will fuck that money up. But if you leave your child principles, you leave your child character, you leave your child a model that they can follow. You know what I'm saying? That's part of that. That's that's an important part of legacy. And then if you do all those things, then you leave the money. Oh, world changer, right? World breaker, world cracker. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's that's the legacy we toast from right there. Those are the children that we're raising, right? So we lift up our glass and we say our shape from near family. I toast you. I toast you any struggles that you had. We remember our family down in Houston. Right, we remember those individuals down there, right? And we're gonna lift up a special toast for those who who wanted to prepare but couldn't prepare because they couldn't afford to because they've been they've been priced out of America, right? That you know what I'm saying they work hard because some of us could some of us could get caught up in this. I mean, think about this: they worked hard, and 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 that hurricane.
came at the end of a pay period. So they was down to their last little bit of money. So they got the water that they could. And we asked the ancestors to extend that water, right? We asked the ancestors to extend that food, right? We asked the ancestors to bless them, right? To, to lift them up. And if you have any issues that you want to talk to, now is the time to throw them out there. So we don't just have to throw our ancestors. We could throw out situations that we want to toast, right? I'm toasting for some cheap gas because we know gas is about to go up. I just need y'all to know that the price is about to, to go up, right? So we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. Ashe. Got my geomic up, Ashe. And I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years, family. taste that root in there man not that it i let this mature a little bit more so it's gone it's a little bit more tart i like it i like it all right so now uh where we at hold on let's see that's the class bell and you know the class is in session um my my elder sent out masked a mass email. We actually shared it on Facebook, and um, I want to share this with y'all. I have a request to make. This from Brother Wa Kesa or Madame Samori. Madame I have a request to make. Please become very, very stingy with the word Jetna. To whom you confer the title Jetna to. I know that we are anxious to get rid of your essential words and the cultural contamination and all that often accompanies me. I got rid of my Scottish Irish words used to address me over 40 years ago. So I get it. Here's the problem. We often substitute African words that carry so much more meaning and depth, depth, but we often unwittingly abandon the deep meaning and deep culture. Taken together, the slides here lay out the standards for Jedna. The question by, um, the question by Nana John Henry Clark provides the context for determining what tested in battle and what produced an exceptional high quality work, etc. need for our times. A powerful elder or helpful guide may or may not be Jegna. You hear that? Ooh, man. I guess the ancestors agree with you, Elder Wakesa. It is a title not easily earned. It is even more difficult to wear. It is a powerful word. I'm not suggesting that we don't use it, just that we guard it. Let not, let's not let not cheapen it by trying to be the swallower European word we seek to replace. Baba, Mama, Ina, Agaya carry deep meaning and even greater responsibility. We cheapen them by not living up to what they mean. By throwing the terms around lightly and discarding them in search of a more salient word instead of making our walk find our talk, to find the power of the word. This is not our way. The power of the words, the power of the words is the pro, the, the, derived from the culture and practice of the people. Culture is sacred only when we make it so. Jenna is most useful as something to which we aspire. If we hope to one day be called Jedna, our work will be the evocation. Our people will confer uh, accordingly. So let's go on to these photos. Uh, Jedna, exceptional high quality work. How will our people stay on this earth? How will we be fed, Jedna? Jegna, protectors of our culture, people, and land. How will we be housed? Jegna. How will we be educated? Jegna. Jegna, tested in battle. How will you be? How will we be defended? Jegna. Master teacher, storyteller, communicator. Jegna. All right? Now, I, I, I agree 100%, but I'm going, I'm going to go a little bit farther as a nation of the family. 
Hell, we got to be careful about who we give the title nation builder to. We got to be careful about who we get the title warrior to. We got to be careful who we get the title elder to. I mean, that's part of the culture. That's part of the process the culture, um, in a sense, infuses into people so that we are clear on who and what we're giving it, giving these titles to. Because these titles carry power, right? It, it gives the individual, the carrier of it gives that individual the ability to define reality for that for that culture. So we have to be very careful about giving all the titles. I remember um, when they opened Apple Central School, one of the things that I kind of had a problem with was that everybody that was a teacher up in the school was supposed to be called Mama or Baba. What the? What? What? You know what I'm saying? Everybody's a mama and baba. So we kind of cheap in our own shit because we want we want membership, right? You know what I'm saying? This is the piece that I'm saying about even with the whole piece when I was talking about the self governance, right? It ain't something that you rush into that we that we rush into and just try to get numbers because it's not about the numbers, family. It's about the quality of the person that we're bringing in, right? See, because with us, with the way we're building culture, we are not building culture the way culture has been traditionally built. How has culture been traditionally built? People were born into the shit. That's how culture is built. You know what I'm saying? Culture is not like religion where you could go and you proselytize your culture. Yeah, that's, some bullshit. You, that's not how you build culture. I mean, although it's how they do it nowadays, right? That's how we going to do it now. But we can't be in such a hurry that we're jumping over what qualifies an individual to be part of that culture, right? What qualifies you? What work have you put in, right? Well, let's look at some of the, let, let me go back to some of these, some of these uh, qualifications left by elder uh, um, ancestor, the honorable ancestors, Dr. John Hewitt Clark. How have you defended our people? And, and, and do you have a plan on how we will be defended? Have you been tested in battle? I mean, because some of y'all talk some good shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I mean, because, you know, some of us honestly think that us getting in debates with motherfuckers is, is battle. You know, I guess, you know, I guess. In some cases, yeah, I guess. Huh? How will we be educated? Are you considering that? You know what I'm saying? How are you educated? You know what I'm saying? How will you be housed? How will we, how will we be housed? Are you considering that? Protectors of the culture, people, and land. Are you protecting the culture? Are you protecting the people? Are you protecting the land? Hell, are you trying to help us acquire land? Or are you trying to get it for yourself? How will we be fed? Are you even considering these questions? Come on, family. How will our people stay on this earth? Shit. Priority number one. You don't want to make sure that we stay on this earth. Exceptional, high quality work. Have you been putting it out? Right? See, these are some of the things we got to really deal with when we're talking about giving the title. They ain't not just judgment. Hell, warrior. You know what I'm saying? We got motherfuckers running around with the title warrior. I mean, let's be honest, family. We got we what I call retirement elders. These are individuals who work their whole life in 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 in, uh, in other cultures and all of a sudden, after they retire, it's safe enough for them to become conscious. We got those. We know we do. Right? You know what I'm saying? Everybody come at their own time. Right? Come on, family. You know what I'm saying? We got we got those we got those uh opportunity nation builders. Motherfuckers became nation builders because to be conscious helped catapult their career. And, you know, because there's certain times that the individual needs an individual to be able to reflect consciousness. Y'all do realize that. You, so we do have opportunity, opportunity nation builders, right? And then also the warrior. We got the, we got the pussy getting warrior, right? You know, he be, or, or, or the sex getting warrior, the individual that became a warrior because, you know, to show a little bit of consciousness made it possible for you to get into somebody's pants. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because anybody, see, this is what bothers me the most. 
is what makes what we're doing so dangerous, right? Just because you are black, you have the right to take whatever title you want. That's bullshit. And we need to end in Columbus. We ending that shit. I'm just wherever you at. I don't know how y'all gonna deal with it. But Columbus, we ending that shit, right? You know, it's just I mean because it, it makes it's very unsafe. It's very I've been in some in, so, in a lot of compromising situations because I'm like, oh man, he black. Oh she's black. They you know oh they with us. Fuck that. Let's see. Have they shown exceptionally high quality work? Let's see. Have they really been involved with the discussion and the planning and the action to, to, um, to determine how our people will stay on this planet? Hmm. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Have they really considered how we will be fed? Let me close this screen. All right, so you know, and the other questions that I ask, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be labeled a point. But family, we we got a lot of work to do. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole lot of work to do. All right, so tonight we're gonna be doing this show, um, folk tales for grown folks, those who want a head start. Um, the show is gonna be on days I fable the geese and the cranes. I'm not gonna read it. But you gonna find it. Aesop Fables is everywhere you go on Google. It's called the Geese and the Cranes, and it may be two or three different versions. So go on, do your research because you you don't know which one. I'm, well, the one I'm gonna be using is translated by George Fowler Townsend. I don't speak Latin or or Greek or whatever. He tried, I think he translated from Greek. So we're gonna discuss that, right? Um, um, the lines will be open, fam. So you'll be able to call in and we'll be able to have a powerful discussion. I want to wish you a great Kuji Chalia. And I'm about to get up. It's 10 minutes before Cleve get up and start doing his his work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying peace to you. I wish you peace, power, peace, power, and joy. And of course, 100 years is about us building family. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you stay healthy with us, right? So take your sips. Rule one, drink the water. Rule two, healthy drink. Remember, there's only four things that we need to stay healthy. Proper breathing. Proper water. Culturally appropriate food. Culturally appropriate movement. And one love to you as well, Brother Kwame. And we are out. Peace. Class dismissed. Let's go.